Hey, what's up, everyone? Andrea Galvão here at the Z Quarters. So glad that you are here with us. Thank you so much for enjoying our channel. Watch this video right now. I know you're gonna love it, right? Comment below and let us know what you wanna learn, okay? This is very, very important. And also hit the like button. If you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe to our videos. And check it out, our promo that we have until October 14th, Columbus Day promo, okay? Use the code CDAY50 in all our courses and get any course from our Atos BJJ on the band website. You can get all the courses for 50% off atosbjjondemand.com dash products, all right? So you choose any product right there and use the code CDAY50. Happy Columbus Day. Enjoy the video and see you soon. Us. Let's say Jonathan, he passed my guard here, okay? And now he defeat my my uh shin okay my legs like he passed my guard and then he defeated also my frames here okay so i was with my frame here okay and then he defeated this and then he got on this position right so this is like a pretty bad situation for me because from here jonathan can attack not only submissions he can control the fights but also he can make transitions to mount or to the back or he can take the back depends like if i expose the back or not Right now, we're not gonna expose the back to our opponent, okay? So what you're gonna do, we will uh, build the frames again, all right? So I'm not gonna try to, to push his hips. A lot of times, people, they understand that they need to bring the legs of the opponent towards your legs, okay? For example, like go John. So some people, they think they need to push the opponent between their legs in order to recover the guard. Okay, this is perfect, right? But if I push him that way, that's what he's expecting. And he's gonna be blocking that, all right? Jonathan can be with this leg in two ways. He can be with this leg close to me, or he can be with the leg away from me, like this. The other leg is always gonna be in touch with my hips. Okay, go back, Jonathan. Well, because if Jonathan gives the space from the leg, it's so easy for me to bring my frame in the front of his leg, look. And then I start recovering the guard, okay? So Jonathan will be with the leg close to me here, like this. I'll find a space right now, okay? Let's say uh, I can get the frames here, okay? If I cannot get the frames, I'll, have, I'll give you two options, all right? So the first option here, right? I'm gonna try to get the frame and Jonathan is super tight, super close. Right, it's really, really strong here. But it's gonna be pretty much impossible for me to recover the guard if this elbow here, this arm is on top of his leg. This is not good for me. Even if I try to catch his leg, it's not gonna work. So I need to, to bring this elbow inside. So what I do, I'll bridge this way, and when I come back, I put my elbow inside. Okay, so I go like this. One, and then two, I put my elbow inside. Once my elbow is inside, I keep my elbow connected with my body. So it's gonna be easier for me to push him right now. I can push him. I'm not gonna use my hand here. Okay, don't do that because if you do that, you can actually hurt your wrist. Okay, sometimes I see, and I actually uh, learned that when I was a white belt, I pushed the hips off my, my teammate and then he, he tilts the hips like this and then hurt my hand. Okay, so don't do that. So keep your elbow inside right here. One thing really, really important. I'm not gonna pass my arm to this side. Okay, if I do that, John will put his forehead on the floor and he can start choking me, uh, such as katagatami. Go, John. You go one, he can mount on me, and then he can start choking me here, okay? So you will keep this hand on this side, okay? Your arm will never pass in the front of his head right here. You keep on this side, all right? Right now, around John. I can build this frame here, or he can be really strong and it's really hard for me to get this frame. So first we do it without the frame. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'll escape my hips and I'll bring the bottom leg inside uh, Jonathan's uh, leg, all right? I'll be right here. I, first, I put my frame in the front of his belly. Second, I'll escape my hips, bridging, escaping, and then I put my frame inside. You see that? Once I put my frame, now my outside leg will go over his leg right here. 
Okay? It's very important to do that. Right? And I see some guys, they teach this. They go like one, and then they do this. Try to like recover the guard like that without like trapping the leg. If you don't trap the leg, it's gonna be easy for opponent to, to beat your knees again, okay? Especially the bottom knee here. So when I got here, if I just do this and try to recover, Jonathan can start putting belly down and pass my guard again, okay? So immediately when I put my knee inside, I need to have my, my outside leg trapping his leg. So I go step one, step two, and now look, step three. I trap his leg here. Now I can easily, I don't need to keep my hook here. I put my leg to the floor, my foot to the floor. Bring my knee in the front, uh, my shin in the front of his groin here. And now I start like bring his elbow far from his knee. Like this. Yeah, I can hug him like that if I want. Now I can easily close the guard. Okay, like this. Again, yes. So I'm here with Jonathan. Okay, that's step one. Now I step two, and now I step three, I step over his leg. Once I step over his leg, look, if I go here, I'll be in half guard, right? And we're gonna learn this on the half guard series, right? Uh, after you get the half guard, you will put the, the shin in the front of his leg, okay, right here, the groin. Once I do that, if I keep, keep your elbow close to your knee joints, like this, so he's strong right here. You see that he's bending me here? So I use this arm and I use my head to line my body uh, in the same line of his body, okay? Like this, All right? So once I do this, it's weaker. It's harder for him to go back to the side control. So I have the hook here. Maybe you want to try to hop over my leg. Don't let him hop over your thigh, your knee. Hop over my knee joints. If he does that, he's gonna be on the half guard. And then from the half guard, he can make transitions to mount right, or pass our guard again. So make sure you have the shin in the front of his uh, leg right here, in the front of his groin, and you keep the shin like strong right here and heavy. So now you recover, and now you just like kick him, kind of like you're gonna sweep him that way, like a hook sweep. But because I'm not controlling the other arms, it's, it's harder for me to sweep, so I just recover the guard. Even though I can attack the sweep right there, I can counter with the sweep. One more time. So first we just focus in the, in the guard recover. So step one, elbow inside. Step two, I will skip the hips and put my bottom knee, bottom shin under him, his leg. Step four, I'll trap the outside leg, I'll trap his leg here. Okay? Once I trap his leg, now I start like recovering the guard. Can I push this leg here? Yes, I can push this leg. Okay? But when I push the leg, Pull me towards your knee, joints, like this. Okay, especially when I fight someone strong. I prefer to have my, my arm here so I can stretch him when I'm recovering the guard, like this. And when I stretch him like this, it's easier for me to sweep him this way if I want. Okay, turn on, joints. So what I do, I lift this leg here, this arm here, sorry, and I trap the bottom arm. And now I can start like lifting him like this and sweep him like this and then I come up on top okay and actually that can uh, work as well okay when you recover in the guard if you had the opportunity to sweep why not right so once I'm here I go step one okay step two step three now step four look I can use my my uh, forearm but not my hand okay inside this leg if his leg is too close to me especially when the knees are his knees really close to his triceps I can use this forearm here, but not, don't push his hips like this. And then you go back here immediately, okay? And now you can recover the guard, okay? Like this. And then you keep holding him, and then now you're gonna start working the attack from close guard. Okay, one more time. From here, so step one, step two, step three, and now look, I recover the guard. Or I can chop his bottom arm here with this hand that was over his neck. And then I start like lifting his leg here. And now the bottom leg, sweep, and then I come on top of him, okay? First you work uh, just recovering the guard, and later on you work with the hook sweep, okay? Again, I go one, two, 
three, four. Okay, now if I like, I sleep in here and get on top. You see like the step one, pull my elbow inside, step two, I skip my hips, and then I put my knee inside, and at the same time, I pass my leg over. Almost at the same time. And the fight's gonna be like this. Like really quick, okay? And now, you bring your shins, or now you Better. Here. All right, now you gotta do this. Your shin must be here. Okay, you expose your knee, kneecap out. So now my kneecap will point towards the ceiling. Okay, like this. Now I have a really strong hook on him. Then I can work with the hook sweep. All I can sweep is like with a good base, I just get the close guard, okay? But it's always good to defend and, and go right away to a nice uh, counter, right? Such as a sweep or a submission, okay? And when you try to sweep, your opponent will make base, and when you make base, he'll give you space. And once he starts giving you space, it's gonna be easier for you, especially like when you start making base, right? It's gonna be easier for you to counter opponent and get a, a force him to go, uh, to get a submission, so you can trap, trap his arm, trap his leg, and start finding ways to attack submissions on your opponent, okay, against your opponent. All right, let's work, one, two, three. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel, okay? I hope you enjoyed this class. I know you learned some crazy details, right? Go right now and check it out our instructionals. All the courses, 50% off Columbus Day promo. C-Day 50 is the promo code, all right? Enjoy, take care, have a great day, and i see you soon. Oh, take care, guys.